How can a machine believe it's alive? Proctor Ingram. Looks like the Mark 28s are going to do the trick. That was a good find. I'll work with your team to ensure that Prime's bombs remain stable after they're loaded into his pack. It won't be too much of a problem. Well, Dr. Lee, I have to admit, we couldn't have done this without you. <laughs> it's a little early to begin celebrating, Proctor Ingram. We haven't fully thrown the switch on Liberty Prime. Excuse me, Dr. Lee? Whatever it is, it'll have to wait. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. Looks like the Mark 28s are going to do the trick. That was a good find. I'll work with your team to ensure that Prime's bombs remain stable after they're loaded into his pack. It won't be too much of a problem. Well, Dr. Lee, I have to admit, we couldn't have done this without you. It's a little early to begin celebrating, Proctor Ingram. We haven't fully thrown the switch on Liberty Prime, and I'm just hoping all the work I've done to keep his system stable are going to hold. I have full confidence in the abilities of everyone here. I appreciate that. Proctor, all the readouts look green. I think it's time for you to perform the power shunt. Actually, I think I'm gonna let you press the button. After all, without your help, we'd still be staring at a pile of disassembled parts. It would be better if a trained technician performed that task, but I suppose you deserve to be the one to do it. to his new configuration. Voice module online. Audio functionality test initialized. Designation Liberty Prime Mark II. Mission The Liberation of Anchorage, Alaska. Primary targets any and all red Chinese invaders. Liberty Prime, full system analysis. All systems, nominal. Weapons, hot. Warning, nuclear weapon payload depleted. Reload required. Warning, power core offline. Running on external power only. Core restart recommended. Ability to repel red Chinese invaders. Compromised. Green lights across the board here. Yeah. He's looking good from where I'm sitting. Doctor, if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye on the big guy here, I'd appreciate it. Well, I have to admit, I wasn't sure we'd be able to pull it off, but Liberty Prime's looking pretty good. What was that he said about his power core? Prime's in top shape, but his nuclear engine needs to be restarted. Right now, we have him running off of the Pridwin's engines. Once I get that sorted out, we'll send him off to kick in the Institute's front door. Before you head off to your next assignment, I have something for you. I came up with this little beauty myself. I think it'll add a bit more punch to your power armor. It'll do, I suppose. Well, that's gratitude for you. Anyway, that's enough of that. You better hightail it up to the Pridwin. Elder Maxson said he needed to speak to you as soon as you were done here. And thank you, Knight. Without you, none of this would have been possible.
Is there anything you wish to tell me, Knight? Not at all. I have nothing to hide. I find that very hard to believe. Proctor Quinlan completed the decryption of the data you retrieved from the Institute. A portion of his findings included a list of synths that went missing or escaped from their underground facility. After careful analysis of the information, we've discovered something. Unprecedented. Paladin Dance is a perfect match for one of the scents on that list. That's impossible. I'm afraid not. The evidence is quite damning. The data you brought back included a record of each subject's DNA. We keep the same information on file for all of our soldiers. Paladin Dance's DNA is a perfect match for a synth they called M797. To make matters worse, he's gone able. Disappeared without a trace. His sudden absence simply reinforces our conclusion that M797 and Paladin Dance are one and the same. I'm finding it difficult to believe that he never confided in you and then swore you to secrecy. You have to believe me. He never told me he was a synth. <laughs> Apparently, I've misjudged you, which means I've decided to take you at your word. However, that doesn't absolve you of your duty. Dance is a synth. He represents everything we hate. A monstrosity of technology. Our mission in the Commonwealth is clear. The Institute and its creations need to be destroyed in order to preserve our future. Which leaves me facing the most difficult order I've ever given. I'm ordering you to hunt down Dance and execute him. With pleasure. I'll make him pay for lying to us. You can't be serious. We're not assassins. I appreciate your cooperation. Listen, I'm not blind to the fact that Dance was your mentor, and this isn't an easy burden to bear. But if we're to remain strong, we can't afford to make exceptions. Even when it means executing one of our own. Find Proctor Quinlan. He's been analyzing the data and should be able to provide you with a starting point. And Knight, there's a promotion for you riding on the results of these orders. So don't disappoint me. You're dismissed. Attention, Ferrum Squad, report to debriefing. Ferrum Squad to the debriefing. Oh, Knight. I was told you were coming. Sorry about this business with Dance. What do you know about this situation? While I was decrypting all of the data you acquired from within the Institute, I came across a list. It appears that the Institute keeps exemplary records where their synths are concerned, including logging those that were reported missing. As I was perusing this list, I came across an image of Dance under the heading M797. A quick DNA comparison with our own records told the rest of the tale. I'm certain this comes as quite a shock to you, Knight. I'm sorry. I don't need apologies. I need to know where he is. Yes, you're quite right. I've been poring over Dance's duty reports, and unfortunately, I haven't found any concrete information. As you're well aware, Dance had intimate knowledge of the Commonwealth, and I'm afraid he could be seeking refuge anywhere. I think our best approach would be to identify every location he's ever visited and eliminate them as possibilities one by one. You may want to get comfortable, this could take quite a bit of... What the hell is this crap about Dance being a synth? I assume your outburst was a reference to some doubt regarding Dance's identity. I can assure you that my findings are quite accurate, Scribe. So he sets Dance up, and then you knock him down. Is that it? Ha! <laughs> 
How did you hear about it? There are no secrets in the Brotherhood. Maxon's made it clear that we're to locate Paladin Dance, and if we find him, report his location to you. That can only mean you've been sent to hunt him down. Orders are orders. Orders are orders? That's all you have to say? I can't believe that after everything Paladin Dance did for you, you're just gonna turn your back on him like this. There's obviously been a mistake, and we need to get to the bottom of it. Scribe Halen! You're addressing a senior officer, and you will show him the respect that he's due. Or so help me, I'll have you brought up on charges. Now, unless you're here with information that can assist us, I suggest you return to the police station immediately. Of course. My apologies, Proctor. I believe I have some information that's relevant to the search. Very well, then. Would you care to enlighten us? Or do we have to wait until you decide to grace us with your knowledge? Knight, if you'd accompany me to the flight deck, I'd like to show you the information I've compiled firsthand. I've stored the data on my Vertiberg gunship's computer. I'll take anything that gets me closer to finding Dance. Yes, sir. Proceed, Knight. I'll continue doing my research here. If you'll follow me, sir. Scribe Halen. Do you actually plan on killing Paladin Dance? I'm following orders. You should do the same. I know I should. But before you head out, I need you to listen to what I have to say. I've known Paladin Dance ever since I was an initiate. He trained me, showed me the ropes, and when I screwed up, he taught me to dust myself off and move on. He's earned my admiration, my respect, and my friendship. I don't care what Quinlan's report says. I don't care if he's a machine or not. He still dance. That's a bold statement. It's more than just a statement. It's a plea. Dance is the most selfless person I've ever met. I've watched him risk his own life based on nothing more than principle alone. That's why I'm asking you. Not just as a member of the Brotherhood, but as a human being. Give him a chance. Let him tell his side of the story. If you're not convinced by what he says, or somehow he's become truly lost to us, then you do what you have to do. What we have to do is not follow orders given to us by a lunatic. All right, I'll hear him out. That's all that I ask. I'll just have to trust that when the time comes, you'll do the right thing. <sighs> Before the Pribwin showed up, Dance had me identify a fallback point if we ever lost the police station. It was Listening Post Bravo, an old pre-war U.S. military outpost on the northern frontier of the Commonwealth. It's isolated, and we're the only ones that knew about it. So, there's a good chance that's where he's headed. Just... Be careful. There's no telling what state of mind he's in right now. Or if he trusts any of us at all. The Pridwin is a magnificent ship.
I'm not surprised Maxon sent you. He never liked to do the dirty work himself. He told me you're a synth, Dad. That makes you a traitor. And he's right. But the news is just as much of a shock to me. I didn't know, I swear. Until Quinlan got that list decoded, I thought synths were the enemy. I never expected to hear that I was one of them. If it wasn't for Halen, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So, what are your orders? Does Maxon even want me alive? Of course not. Sense are the enemy, remember? All too well. Look, I'm not blind to the fact that this must be difficult for you. I wish Maxon had sent someone else, but that doesn't change a thing. I'm a synth, which means I need to be destroyed. If you disobey your orders, you're not only betraying Maxim, you're betraying the Brotherhood of Steel and everything it stands for. Synths can't be trusted. Machines were never meant to make their own decisions. They need to be controlled. Technology that's run amok is what brought the entire world to its knees and humanity to the brink of extinction. I need to be the example, not the exception. calculated all the variables, just like a machine. Your anger simply proves my point. I'm ready to accept the consequences of my true identity. Maxon's ordered you to execute me, and I'll be damned if I'm going to stand in your way. If it needs to be done, then so be it. I've never been prouder of you than I am right now, brother. It's been a pleasure serving with you. At Victorium, brother. Elder Maxon. Report, Knight. Have you handled the situation with Paladin Dance? Do you want his hollow tags as proof? That won't be necessary. Perhaps you should keep them as a reminder of your lapse in vigilance. Of course. Dance's execution creates a missing link in our chain of command. That traitor held quite an important position with us. I'm certain that you'll make a fine replacement. His quarters and all his possessions are now yours. Including his personal suit of power armor. Congratulations, Paladin. 
I'm honored, Elder. You've earned it by your own actions. Just be aware that a Brotherhood Paladin is expected to be a symbol of integrity to our brothers and sisters. I trust you won't disappoint them, or disappoint me. In any event, we still have the Institute to contend with, and a lot of work to do before we can begin our final assault. While the finishing touches are being put onto Liberty Prime, Captain Kells has identified a potential threat to our operations. Report to him immediately for your next assignment. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Attention, this is a reminder. Any recovered historical, technological, or social documentation should be delivered directly to Proctor Quinlan. 